Hello, hello. I am once again back with even more strategies that you and your duo can use. Don't really have a particular theme this time. It's just kind of some really good strategies that I've thought up and that I want to show you guys. So let's get started. The first strategy is going to be for the kitchen service site on Coastline. And you're going to need a Clash as well as a Solus to make this one work. Let's start with Clash because... Her job is super simple. This strategy is one where you can get a bunch of kills at the beginning of the round. Now, unfortunately, the Clash probably is not surviving. So just, just keep that in mind if you play the Clash. You might not make it out of this one alive. But once the round starts, just come toss your barbed wire right here. This is just going to slow them down a little bit. Then you're going to be coming into this little lounge area as Clash. And just sitting here and making callouts for the solace but that's it this is this is all you gotta do stay alive as long as possible uh, if someone does this to you in your rank games you can't actually shoot through these wooden parts but a lot of people don't know that so hopefully they don't know that and you're safe as clash but just sit here make call outs they're all gonna rush around try and get right here to shoot you they're gonna try and run around these corners don't worry about fighting them, just, you know, electrify them and stay alive. That is your main objective. Now we can show the actual meat of the strategy with Solus. So as Solus, you do have a tiny bit of setup, but it's really not much. All you're going to do is run up into Master, silent prep this barricade, so just shoot out this bottom part and then punch the little border twice, and that's going to give you a vault prompt so you can hop out. And then, if you want, you can grenade this and then accidentally threw my second impact. But if you throw it right here, it'll give you a view onto the kitchen door in case you want that. But it's really uh, not necessary. It's just extra in case they rush the door and ignore the clash. What you're going to be doing is using your scanner to see what kind of utility they put down while attacking the clash. Now, don't give them too long. You don't want them to get comfortable or to kill the clash. But just notice if they have like a Nomad or a, a Claymore set up, something like that. Because you don't want to jump out and immediately die. Now the Clash is going to be giving you callouts, but Solus just gives you the best intel there. Because she can see any devices that are planted. Clash just has to worry about seeing who is actually out there. Let's say, you know, well, let me use the default cam to show you. Um, Clash says, oh, there's, there's two pushing me. On the right side, you can just hop out as Solus, insta-kill them. You have a P90 with like 50 bullets. You can take this fight the entire time. If there's only one or two pushing the Clash, you might be able to get the kills and get back inside. And then continue your fight from inside. Now remember the Clash, probably dying. The Solus' objective is to get out, kill as many people as possible, and then live. But... That's going to depend on your skill level. So you might be thinking, why would you do this? Why would you risk two players' lives? Well, the only time the strategy would really come into play is if you win the first round on defense. You beat them at hookah. Now they're attacking kitchen, because this is like the most popular second bomb site to go. And it's just something to catch them off guard. Throw them off their game. Make them feel uncomfortable. Make them feel like you're about to run out all over the place. They don't know if they're safe outside or not. It's fighting your opponent mentally as well as physically. Because, you know, they see a clash outside. They're like, oh, what is this idiot doing? Then Solus from the top ropes hopefully slams a few of them and makes it back inside. And now, you know, they've lost important utility. They might have lost a breacher or, well, you don't really need a breacher on this side. But maybe they lost their ram. They lost their buck, fuse, something like that. The diffuser is now down all the way out here. And if you get the diffuser down, Clash can just sit out here and, you know, guard the diffuser. Or she can just come sit on this doorway, shock anyone that's trying to pick it up. It's a fun strategy. Very little setup. Basically, you know, no setup at all compared to a lot of other strats. And it's just uh, a fun thing to do all around. So try that one out. Let me know if you get slammed in your matches or not. And now let's move on to the second strategy. For the second strategy, we're staying on coastline, but this time we're switching to the attack side of things. Now this strategy involves Nomad and Dokubi, but for the example, I'm just going to be showing you Nomad because obviously in a custom game, there are no other players 
that you can hear when I use the Dokumi calls. So I'm going to be showing you Nomad, and I'll just explain what you and Dokumi are going to be doing. So using Nomad and Dokumi, you are going to be taking control of Hall of Fame in VIP, and then working your way over to the Hookah site. Well, really the bar site, but, you know, Hookah bar. As Nomad and Dokubi, you're going to have Dokubi droning for you when you're out on this balcony. But as Nomad, you're just going to break this down. You're going to use your first air jab on the Hall of Fame to Master Door. These are just going to be set up for later. Obviously, your main job is going to be clearing out VIP. They might have someone sitting in this corner. Make sure you drone this little corner. People like to rat right here for when you run in. Usually this wall will be reinforced. They may have someone in this corner. A very common spot is behind this bookshelf. Because you can see all the way outside with it. And then you may even have someone behind the DJ booth. But uh, it's, not, it's not too common. But once you get that air jab down... You can now switch. Nomad can now get on drones, and you can drone out for Dokubi, as well as she can use her all when she is moving in. I mean, really, you could do this with Nomad too, but Dokubi's single fire weapon is going to be really effective for fighting someone behind the bookshelf where you have to get those accurate shots in. And also make sure you drone out Penthouse to make sure that there's no one, you know, say, sitting in closet. If they're, if they're back here... In theater, it's not a huge deal because because of your air jab, they're going to make it basically impossible for them to flank you. So if you see someone here, you don't have to push them, but you can if you want to clear them out. Now, once you have VIP cleared, this is where your second air jab comes in. You're going to throw it right on split that goes into theater. This is just going to give you a second layer of protection if anyone is trying to push you. Your third and final air jab will go right here on the hallway this is just in case there are any weirdos playing in this hallway that are trying to come and flank you guys at least you have an air jab there but your main job is going to be to take control of bar and billiards so dokubi can use her second call and then you two can push up there will pretty much always be someone playing in this hallway usually between these two vases you can push up slam them um, sometimes there'll be someone on a drone in here, but like I said, with the Nomad call going off, you will be able to hear very clearly where the people are, and usually your team will be pushing from Hookah Balcony or the Aquarium Balcony, causing a lot of distractions for you and Dokubi to be able to push in. So, I can't get too specific because, you know, every round is going to be different depending on how the defenders are playing and how they are defending so they might have a heavier setup for vip that's going to change the way you push it or maybe they have people playing below site and you know that's going to change it a little bit but this is a really really effective way to get control of vip and now you got eyes onto site now you cut off this hallway it makes it a lot harder to defend hookah as well as billiards but let me know what you guys think of this one and now let's move on to the third and final duo strategy our third and final strategy is going to be for the vent workshop site on border and you are going to be defending the site from above using castle and solace i'm going to show you castle because i can just tell you what solace does since it, her setup is a lot easier and you know what i'll just i'll just tell you solace first all solace does you throw your first impact above the vent window so that you have an angle on it in case someone is trying to sit out right here. You'll be able to see Five. them from above. And also make sure you make the default rotate for your team. Always a nice thing to do before you head upstairs. You have four reinforcements to place once you're up here. So you can split these among you and Solus. Those are going to be the two hatches. So the small office hatch, the archives hatch, and then go ahead and reinforce armory. Now, once that is done, if at the end of the prep phase you still have one reinforcement left, you can also do this archives wall. It's not necessary, but it does stop the attackers from sitting outside on East Balcony and just shooting straight into sight 
<clears throat> it just gives you an extra layer of protection, but it's not completely necessary. Now, as castle, you're gonna wanna put footholds on the right side of this armory wall, and then you can also put footholds on the wall behind it. This just gives you a nice angle if anyone is trying to push into fountain to get to you. You can sit all the way back here on sandwich and see their feet. But now for the most important part, the castles. One goes on the sandwich window, just to stop anyone from repelling and looking in. By the way, this is what the impact hole will look like so you can see outside. Second castle, armory door. You want to make it pretty difficult to push into armory. You can also make footholds along the small office if you like. Just so you can play out here, see people on the balcony. Your third castle, go over into small office, put it on the window. And now leave this door open because this is going to be your escape route. You're going to run and run down metal. Um, there aren't really too many ways for you to escape since you're, you know, you're reinforcing the hatches and it's pretty dangerous to go out all the way over here. You can open up this hatch to drop bathroom, but there will usually be a push from that side as well. So you're going to be dropping into attackers. By castling off the small office, you're stopping attackers from coming in. Say you're playing over there on sandwich. They can't jump in and get an angle on you. They have to push in through the metal detector. And then also you can put your first proximity right there uh, this is going to detect anyone coming through the hallway and then your final castle is just going to be for the east balcony door to stop them from rushing into archives now if they want to push archives they're going to break this castle it's not that difficult but it at least gives you a little bit of warning a little bit of delay for the attackers and then for your final proximity you're going to toss it shoot a shotgun hole um right here in fountain and you're going to toss it into the hole that way you can't see it as you're pushing up as an attacker and it will detect them if they're coming either from the main hall or from this little hop in window right here it is invisible from both and you will see them before they get are you sorry you'll hear them before they get into archives and you can you know prep yourself get ready to shoot at their toes now, Castle is going to be the one doing most of the fighting of attackers that are pushing you guys. Solus can obviously help out when needed, but Solus is going to be ar going around looking for drones. A lot of times, drones will be like hidden up on these things behind this black bag. They'll have drones in archives somewhere along here. Solus's job would be to get rid of all those and then just kind of use her intel gadget in order to tell the rest of the team you know where they're pushing from if they're setting up claymores she can be the one watching this window you can also use castle to make shotgun holes along the top part of the shower wall and then you can have soulless you know just she can be wherever and she can use her gadget and see oh they're they're throwing devices on the wall she can run over shoot those off real quick just as an added layer of protection i wouldn't really worry about holding this wall if you know you're getting pushed by a bunch of attackers but if they're not really pushing upstairs you can defend the wall so just another option that you have and this is really just a, a very powerful play as long as you have control of armory and archives it becomes very very difficult to attack ventilation site but that is it for this video, everyone. Let me know what you think about these strategies. If you enjoyed the video, if you have any suggestions for me, let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.